crack. Welcome to today's episode. My name is David Kelly. I'm the Irish Guy Vlogs. Today I'm in my local woods and I'm here to get a sample of the water because if you haven't guessed from the title of this video, today I'm going to be testing my local water. Recently there's been a lot about it in the news. A couple of weeks ago back the local pipes burst and my water was brown for a while. I know there's a couple of shops in town that said the water was black, which is signs of like a magnesium buildup. So I decided a couple of weeks ago to buy a test kit to test the water. Today I'm in the woods to get a sample of the river water. Then I'm going to go home and get a sample of my uh, own tap water at home. And I already have a sample of uh, water filter through an osmosis filter so I'm gonna have three different types of water to test three kind of different extremes which is really gonna test the water test kit that I have and hopefully it's going to show that it actually works and there's differences between all the three types of water so yeah it's gonna be an interesting video I'm really looking forward to the results of this video because for a long time I've wondered what's actually in my water earlier last year if you remember I did a video inside here in the woods where we tested the water and like how it was and that's why I know that this isn't like perfectly clean water so I want to get a sample of this water in my own tap water which is supposed clean and then osmosis filtered water which I know is definitely clean. I'm gonna run the samples on them and it's really gonna test out the kit and I'm trying to be as scientific as I can so I'll show you what I brought along with me. So I'm gonna head down to the river now and get a sample of the water and uh, I'm trying to be as scientific as possible so I brought along some things to um, gather a sample as scientifically as I can and hopefully bring back clean samples that are uncontaminated so that I can test with the kit that I have at home. Hopefully it'll give me results and whatever results it gives me I guess that's what I'll have to that's what I'll have to take but, but I know sometimes at home I'll turn on my water and it'll smell funny it'll taste funny and to be honest since the color of the water changed a couple of weeks ago uh, I don't really feel safe about, uh, about drinking the water anymore so I have been buying more bottled water and that's not really good in the long term because like I don't want to be buying more plastic or drinking from plastic or you know, I shouldn't have to worry about the drinking water that I have at home to be honest I shouldn't have really had to buy the test in the first place Irish water should be giving us these test kits to test our own water because they know that there's problems with their own water system I shouldn't have to do this you know but I am so yeah if you want to find out what's in the water here stay tuned this is St. Sinan's Well here in uh, Kilrush Woods. Oh, don't want to slip. So yeah, I'm going to show you what I brought with me. <laughs> you probably won't believe this, but uh, this is a urine container that I got in the chemist. The pharmacist said this is sterile and uh, it's probably the cleanest container that you could find, you know, to put water into for testing. Also, interestingly, the pharmacist said that I've heard that there's a lot of mercury in the water around. That can do very bad damage to the kidneys and the brain and stuff like that. So I thought that was very interesting that the pharmacists themselves were saying it. So yeah. This should be interesting. I also brought along some surgical gloves that I bought in the chemist uh, just to make it as sterile as possible. And yeah, I'm gonna put this on now. I've already marked it wood, so uh, I'll know what sample it is. That's it. I'm gonna get the sample now. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. Focus, come on. Okay, I thought I was recording it, but I wasn't, and I almost fell into the river. But I managed to get a sample. It looks a little bit uh, yellowy. Uh, there's little bits in it. But yeah, it should be an interesting sample. I'm really pissed off now that I didn't record, because <laughs> I re legitimately almost fell into the river right there. Put the lid on, tighten her up. And there we have our sample. Put back in the box. Oh, we have two samples. One left to go, which is a sample from my uh, tap at home. So yeah, I'm gonna go home now and get that. I'm actually really nice that I didn't record myself getting the sample because I almost flipped the river. Just a nine. I thought I was recording. Kit. So the water testing kit that I have at home cost me about 26 euros, I think. All the other little bits here cost me six euros, I think. So it's kind of an expensive video, but uh, hopefully it's gonna be worth it and hopefully I get some good results from it. They're uh, redoing the turret lodge here and they're making it into a genealogy center. And it's really, really coming along. I know I showed it in an earlier video. Uh, before but it's really good to see the results so far. I presume they're going to turn this into a garden with so like a, a walkway. That's going to be the genealogy centre. I'm not sure if we're going to put the gates back up. There used to be two big green gates here but uh, yeah it would be really cool if they did. Yeah and it's just really cool to see something old and uh, unused finally being done up and uh, made use of because there's a lot of places like that in Kilrush that could be that could be turned around and made into something really nice. A lot of other things have potential around town you know. So yeah I'm looking forward to seeing this when it's done. And hopefully I'll be able to find out who uh, my ancestors are. That'll be interesting. Okay, I'm home and I'm gonna get a sample of my tap water. Put on two gloves for this. There I go, got my gloves. I'm gonna sample the water for my own tap. And then I'm gonna let all the three samples just sit here in the kitchen for about an hour, an hour and a half. Just come to room temperature and then I'm gonna test them. So yeah, I'm gonna get the third sample now from my home tap. Here's the urine container for the tap. There we go. One, two, three. Kind of smells a little bit, but uh, not a whole lot. We will see. 
And also I meant to apologise because uh, I've been recording today with an old fitting for my camera. I actually lost the fitting to go from my microphone to my phone the other day. I've ordered a new one, it should be here next week sometime. So I honestly have no idea if the sound is coming in and out and crackling as I record. Like I, I don't know, so I do apologise if the audio is terrible. If it is, I'll put in subtitles where it is, but yeah, I hope you understand and thanks. If you saw the video that I did last week about the mashed potato and bacon ice cream cone, uh, in, in case you didn't, you can watch it up here. But uh, while I was making the video, this thing arrived and this is the water test kit and I'm gonna show it to you this get out of there so this is the 16 in 1 water test kit region test strips for water testing low level detection range for heavy metals I haven't opened it yet 16 in 1 so you dip it like the little thingies into it and you compare it to the colors here on the side and we're, today we're going to be testing for lead fluoride iron copper mercury total chlorine nitrite nitrate ph total alkalinity hardness aluminium sulfate bromine free chlorine cyanuric acid uh, i'm not sure what that is oh it says for for pools and spas so i guess for pools and dumb people my tap water sample is going in okay so tap water woods and osmosis filter water. These are the three samples that I'm gonna be testing today with this water tester, and hopefully I'm gonna get some good results. So, and whatever results I get, I'm going to compare them to the Irish water results. So there's like a maximum or minimum standard of certain chemicals and elements that should be in water. So I have them already downloaded, and any results that I get from this test, I'm gonna compare that to the official Irish water recommendations to see if there's any differences, see if we're above or below, or just bang on. So have you ever wondered about your own drinking water, if it's actually safe to drink, or, or have you ever tested your own drinking water? I'd love to know in the comments down below. And I know some people watching this are probably thinking like, you know, oh, this isn't an official test. And I completely understand that. This is in no way an official test. In order for me to get the water officially tested, I need to spend like 120 to 150 euros to send it off to an official lab just to get it tested. And like, as I said, the water was a different color a couple of weeks ago and a lot of people around Kilrush were complaining about it. But I'm just really interested and curious to see if any of the levels are higher or lower or whatever. And it's something that I've been curious about with a while because like I absolutely love water. My favorite drink in the entire world is ice cold water the colder the better so i love water and i hate being paranoid thinking that the water i'm drinking at home could be like making me sick or unhealthy or anything like that and that's what i'm trying to find out today so here are the three samples i'm gonna leave them here and i'll be back in an hour and a half just in case <laughs> okay so i think enough time has passed and now i'm gonna test the water okay so this is the 16 in one water test kit that i have i'm gonna open it you'll see it's still sealed on top not for long it's got two bags of the strips inside, so that when you open one, the other is still going to be fresh. And here we have them. When I was researching online on how to do this properly, they were saying that I need to make it like as clean as possible. I know I'm in my kitchen here and it's not like the cleanest place in the world. When I was researching for this video, a lot of people said that the strips, actually when you dip them into the water, that sometimes the colors bleed together and it's very hard to get a result. So that's why I have these, because they're usually for feeding cattle or for doing veterinary stuff. So I'm going to open up the first one now, I'm going to test the first lot of water, and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get some results soon, or at least find out if the test is just really a pile of shite after all. Here we go, and uh, here you can clearly see my scientific uh, setup. <laughs> Can't forget the gloves. I'm trying to be scientific. I know I'm pro I've probably like contaminated the water already, but I'm trying to be scientific. Okay, this is the tap water. I'm gonna test the tap water first. Open. Oh, I have to break this. Oh, that's kind of cool. If you dip these strips directly into the water, that some of the dots will run into each other, the color will run. So that's why I'm using individual drops onto the pieces to try and get it a little bit more accurate. This is my tap water, it's going on the top one. And I'm just gonna put the single drops on like this. See if the color changes any little bit. Okay, so that's the first one. I can see a difference in the colors, but I'm not sure if that's because there's just water on top of it or not, you know? So this is my tap water. Oh. oh crap, look at this even. See, even doing it this way, you can see some of the colors are starting to run into each other. This is not cool. We'll try to give it a reading if I can. Uh, this is a pile of shite, isn't it? <laughs> I shouldn't have to go through this just to find out if my water is healthy. Really, like I shouldn't, nobody should. I'm just gonna continue and see the results at the, at the end when everything is done. I'm gonna test the woods water now. 
Take a little sample. Here we go. This is the woods. It'll be interesting to see if this comes up completely different to the first one. If it doesn't, then um, I'm just gonna call the test bullshit and go to Amazon for a refund. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and test the third one as well. And this is gonna be the osmosis filtered water. This is it here. And I know this is very clean water. You can put through the osmosis filter. There is definitely noticeable differences. The woods one is more purple than anything else. Uh, the osmosis one is slightly purpley. I see what this means. They all seem to be pretty l yellowy. You can see from the first one, they all seem to be fairly yellow. So I'd say the levels of lead in this are okay. So to my eye at least, it looks like this is the color of the orange for the fluoride. And apparently that's okay. You can have up to two parts per million of uh, fluoride and it's still okay. They all seem to be okay in iron. The middle one, the woods one, is there's a kind of an orangey, in my eye at least, there's like a small little bit of an orangey tint. See, this is borderline. Here's the mercury. And here we have the unsafe level. And I think it's actually just bordering on that. I know it's very hard to see on camera, but with my naked eye, that's the color that matches kind of closest. I'm trying to line these up so that you can see the colors with them. Okay, so I'm a little bit disappointed that they all seem very similar, so I'm not 100% sure if the test is actually accurate or not. Like, I just spent 30 quid on making this, so um, please smash that like button and subscribe if you feel like it, because, uh, yeah, this has just kind of been a waste. The annoying thing about this is that, like I was saying earlier in the video, I shouldn't have to go to this extent just to test my water. I mean, I know it comes from Irish water. They don't have a good track record, so the fact that they expect us to believe exactly what they say, this is exactly what's in the water, is just a bit of a gimmick, really. We should uh, try and find out, and we should be given the tools, really, by the corporation to be able to find out. I know they say they do a lot of testing throughout the year, they could just as easily give us proper water test kits to do this. But maybe if they did, they'd give us these kits and they probably wouldn't work, so yeah. I'm actually really annoyed about this. <laughs> because I was hoping to get some kind of answer at least, and yeah. What I'm going to do is, I don't even know if I'm going to edit this video to be honest. And it's not like I was hoping to like, unlock some kind of grand conspiracy or anything like that, you know. I just really wanted to test what's in my water and watch what I'm drinking on a daily basis. <sighs> I'm not saying that this test was successful, I'm not saying that it was a failure, even though it properly was. Yeah, see I don't know now what to do, or should I just pack it in and eventually pay 120 quid to get my water professionally tested by a lab? I don't know, I don't know. Completely different types of water, they give me the exact same results for three basically. There's very, very little difference between them. That's what I was worried about, and that's what happened. So yeah. They're all basically the same looking, it's just that the water has dried on the top one a little bit, but they're all very, very similar in colour. Yeah, it's just so annoying. Like, I was really hoping for, like, complete differences in all three of them. But yeah, I'm definitely going to have to revisit this video because, like, I want to find out what's in my water. I think I have to. I'm not 100% sure if this test was going to tell me anyway to begin with. Sorry that today's video was such a fail, but that's just how it goes sometimes. I do really appreciate you stopping by all the same. And I'll be back again next Friday with another video. And I am going to revisit this as well. So hopefully sometime further down the road, I'll have better and more accurate results about what's actually in my water. So fingers crossed. And I'll see you all next Friday. Bye.